Do you have any clue, any idea on how you are stacking up against your competition when it comes for certain search keywords? Keep in mind that as small businesses, keywords are essential and it's very important that us the business owner with the Google profile are ranking for those specific keywords so that when someone types in photo booth rental on their phone, on their tablet, on their laptop, we come up at the very top. And this isn't only for the people that are actually looking for their own business in the comfort of their own home in front of their laptop because chances are you are gonna come up on the top, but that's not accurate because your IP address and your location is being recorded from where you're making the search. What you really want is accurate information. So what I'm gonna do for you guys today is I'm gonna share a tool with you that I use on a weekly basis to run scans on my business to see who is doing better than I am and what areas am I dominating, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into that right now. So here I am on the Patreon page and I'm gonna just randomly select one of the members I'm gonna go ahead and open up their Google profile page, right? So this is their Google profile page. The next thing I wanna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the name of their Google profile. I'm gonna go copy, and the tool is called Local Dominator. It's a very user-friendly tool. I'm gonna to place the link in the description box below if you guys are watching this uh, on, on YouTube, okay? So I'm gonna run a new scan, and then I'm gonna get this search bar right here on the top. I'm gonna to go ahead and paste that title from that Google profile and here they are. It recognized them right away. Now, what do we want to rank for? Well, let's go ahead and see how they're doing for the keyword 360 photo booth. All right, that's what I want to know. How are they ranking for the word 360 photo booth within a one mile 10 by 10 radius? We're going to see how that looks. I'm going to hit search. Now, when I hit search, it's going to run this scan, right? And you can run these scans daily, weekly, monthly. I like doing it weekly for my uh, Patreon members, the ones that are paying for a tier two, I'm gonna be running a scan for the Google profile once a month. We're also gonna get on a Zoom call, right? Once a month, it's gonna be a 15 minute Zoom call so we can see where they're at, if there's any been any progress and what we can do to start outranking our competition because right now, guys, it's grimy, right? Business is grimy because the competition is hot, the economy is low, so we really wanna to, want to get every opportunity we can to bring them as a client and not just as an inquiry, right? But how are we gonna do that? By establishing online presence, real estate, online real estate, having our business always come up at the very top, not just within our backyard a couple miles away from our home, but like within a 30 plus mile radius. So let's go ahead and refresh to see how 360 MVP is ranking. So it's still processing for us right now. We're gonna give that a few seconds. Okay, it popped up. Let me go ahead and click on it, okay? And I'm gonna go over this with you. Now, good news is they're doing a really, really good job with their Google profile because as you guys can see, their average scan ranking is 100. And that's exactly what you guys want. You guys want to see green all over the place and have ones all over the place. Uh, and, and this is a 63.60 square mile radius, which is, which means they are probably pretty busy actually getting booked, way better booked than their actual competition. Now, if we go to the number two right here, it shows that this person right here called Selfie Booth 805, they get first place in that area, okay? And it's probably due also to the fact that they have 75 five-star reviews and one of the, uh, the one that we ran a scan on so far only have 31, which is not bad at all. So this is a tool that I use called Local Dominator. It takes away the thinking, the guessing, and the wondering, and it gives you actual results. And this tool is a tool that you, as a small business owner, need to take advantage of. Once again, I'm gonna place the link to Local Dominator in the description box below to help you guys run these scans. Now keep in mind that these scans, every time they get scanned, you use up credits, but it's well worth it and I highly recommend it. Now, for the if, if you guys are happy with this video, you can go ahead and move on to the next thing, do a little bit of research. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna run the same scan, but instead of 360 photo booth rental, I'm gonna do it for photo booth rental to see how they're doing for that specific keyword. Because I think that as photo booth rental businesses, we definitely need to just have more dominance uh, than just a one word, right? So I'm gonna use the same name Go ahead, use the same name. But this time I'm gonna type in photo booth rental versus 360 photo booth, right? So I'm gonna run that scan, same radius, and then we're gonna check out the history here in a few seconds. We're gonna get let it, uh, we're gonna let it process. By the way, guys, my name is David Rodriguez. I own a photo booth rental business. I've been in ear 
I've been in business for about a year and a half now. And so everything that I've learned through my business, the ups and downs strategies, I've been sharing them on YouTube. So we're going to go ahead and select this running right here. And as you can see, there's a slight difference from how they rank from 360 photo booth to photo booth rental. But the thing is, it's also pretty good. As you guys can see, a lot of it is ones. And then we have uh, some locations right here where they're falling in third place. So if I go here, for example, number three, we can see that selfie booth again, uh, they're doing a solid job. So that, that's actually good. Now, if you guys want to get really competitive, what you guys can do is at their profile on Google and kind of get to see what their Google profile is looking like. So one thing that you guys notice is that right away their GMB category is photo booth. That's exactly what you want as a photo booth business. A lot of people have party rental instead of photo booth and that hurts your rankings because your content, the updates, everything that you're posting revolves around the photo booth, not so much the party rental. So guys, make sure that you guys are categorized correctly. So as you guys can see, this particular business that's been, it, it appears that they're doing well and we're gonna check that out right now. We're not gonna assume, we're gonna actually use a tool they have photo booth as a GMB, a GMB category. Now, they also have a physical location on here, which helps a lot, okay? Uh, they have a website, a phone number. They have photos right in here. They have a good amount of reviews. One thing I like doing is I like to go into reviews and I like looking at their newest reviews to see how long ago they got reviews. So two weeks ago, they got a five-star review. A month ago, they got another five-star review and then another month. So within uh, about a month, they got about four, five, six, seven, seven. So within a month, they, they got about seven reviews in one month, guys. Now, I believe that you can get up to three reviews per event. And now, if you have one event every week, that's uh, 12 reviews a month. So it's possible, and that's how you're going to outrank this specific individual. There, I just gave you some key ingredients. I didn't think I was going to share that, but there it is. A way to beat your competition is to get more reviews. So that's what you do. You go into their Google profile. You look at see how many reviews they're receiving. And if you notice they're getting one review a week, well, then all you need to do is get two to three reviews a week to start beating them. Now, as, as I said earlier, we're going to go ahead and run a scan on them to see exactly how they're doing. Uh, I'm very curious to see how they're doing. So let's go ahead and do that together. I'm going to go to new scan here. And then I'm going to put in their business name. And then we're going to type in photo booth rental. Same thing as earlier. And then we're going to hit search. All right. So it's going to do its thing. Again, it's going to go through the processing and checking out the info, check out the information. And so when that takes place, let's actually go to history really quick. And if you guys get, if you guys really want to get a, what's the word, really ambitious and are really, really assertive to be the best in your entire, let's say, 30 mile radius, there's a way to do that. There's a way to check out the competition. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well. I didn't think this video was gonna be this long, but at least we're having a lot of fun because as entrepreneurs, when we're learning stuff that's gonna be very effective and help us in our business, we know right away like this is definitely worth watching and definitely worth putting into practice and not just be a learner, but an actual practitioner. So they're doing pretty solid as well, as you guys can see. They're ranking number one all around this, this area, this entire city. So how does that look when we press plus, all right? So as you guys can see, these are small cities within like a county, and they're getting five stars on a lot of different places. That means they're getting reviews from all over the area. Now, if I minus it and pan out a little bit, you guys can see just how, how much of a chunk they're, uh, they're taking up right here, okay? So that right there is solid. So yeah, it definitely deserves a, a congratulations. They're doing well. If I go here where they're not being too strong, not too dominating, if I go to number four, I can see that we in the booth right here, they're, they're doing a, lot, a little bit better in this specific area, okay? So remember guys, what's the goal? The goal is to dominate an entire area because this is only a 63 square mile radius. Now check this out. This is, this is where this, when you guys are past 25 reviews and you guys just want to dominate, okay, I'm just going to put it in this video. No need for a part two video. So let's just do this together right now. I'm going to go to a new scan. All right. And I'm going to share something with you guys. Let me go back to uh, the, the scans. Okay. I'm going to use my business as an example. I'm going to scroll down to my business. And as you guys can see right here for the keyword photo booth rental on August the 1st, this is how my business is, is a, uh, is doing right now remember guys when I started this business my thing was just to rank really well for the word 360 photo booth and 360 photo booth rental the photo booth I got those after the fact 
So definitely, I, I can tell you guys, I would love to work a little bit smarter and start getting all these twos into ones, all these twos into ones as well, these threes into ones, the entire area. But it's not easy because sometimes you guys will be in an area that's very saturated and competitive with a bunch of other Photoshop, photo photography rental businesses, but it's possible. And I'll show you why it's possible. So if I go back to my scans and my history, and I scroll down to the word 360 photo booth, right? That's my main keyword. And I go and I click on it. You guys can see that it's 97% dominating for the word 360 photo booth. All right. And this right here, my friends, I'm doing it for a 254 square mile radius. So that right there is crazy. And that's how that's, that's possible. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did. So if you guys want to dominate a larger area because you guys are running the scans for one mile and you guys are green everywhere. And I'm going to show you how that looks like. Let me see if I can pull it off. This will be exciting to watch here, here together. So let's see if I can, let me see regenerate. So let's do something interesting. All right. So for one mile, which we've been doing for all the businesses, I'm going to run this again, but I'm going to type in 360 photo booth. All right. So, so far, no one's gotten ones all the way around. I'm going to hit search for 360 photo booth using my Google profile. And we're going to see how close I get to getting stars all the way around, meaning that whole area, no one can touch me. That was cocky. But that's exactly where I want you guys to get to, to a point where you guys are just having this proximity expand out, expand out to a point where you're getting so many leads and so many calls and so many bookings that now you're scaling your business and you have a new set of problems wondering how am I going to find more uh, helpers with integrity? How am I going to start bundling my businesses and my services? Now that I'm crazy busy, should I start raising my prices? You know, a lot of new problems come in and that's why the community was built. The community here on Patreon was built because these are basically People that are seasoned, they're not brand new photo booth businesses. They're seasoned, they have events underneath their belt and here, here we are to innovate and, and push hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and you guys can see that I managed to get 100 of this area. So 100% high ranking for the word 360 photo booth. And how cool would it be if I can continue this, right? Spreading wider and wider. So earlier we ran uh, and it was a 63, by 62 square miles, okay? And I got all ones. Now, if you guys are still watching, that means you guys are like super hungry for information. So I'm gonna do one last thing, okay? Before I end this video, we're gonna run the same scan for my business, but this time we're gonna run a larger proximity to see where I'm at. Uh, and this is interesting because I, I, I myself, I'm curious to see how that's gonna look like. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so I'm gonna type in Canary Capital Rentals, which is right there. Same thing, 360 photo booth. Just like that, but instead of one mile, we're gonna double it. And as you guys see, this circle is covering a lot more ground now. And let's just go see how it looks now, because um, remember the goal is to get ones all the way around and continue spreading wider and wider and wider. And you might be asking, David, well, how exactly am I going to be covering more land and taking them up more proximity for certain keywords? And one of the things that I share with you during this video is you guys have to get more reviews. That's where it starts off, okay? Reviews is heavy. One, the name of your business. Two, how often are you updating, adding photos, offers on your Google profile? Okay, have you actually gone in to see what you're categorized under? If you're a photo booth rental business, then you should be categorized under photo booth rental, right? Or photo booth. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's go see how I am doing. Not bad at all. So I'm almost there, ladies and gents. So 254 uh, square mile radius, as you guys can see, uh, I'm almost killing it. Like I, I'm so close. We have uh, some people right out here that are uh, there that I'm sharing the, the pie with. In fact, let's go ahead and see who's over here. All right, so 360 photo booth rental magic moments. I actually know the owner of this business, uh, and this man is, I can I tell you, one, 
In the very beginning, there's a few things that he taught me. So I know he's ambitious and I know he's, he's out there working and doing his thing. And therefore, he's definitely being rewarded and acknowledged by Google for the amount of work he's put into his Google profile. So congratulations to uh, 360 Booth Moments, Magic Moments. And that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. I know this video is crammed with valuable information. So please like the video and uh, I look forward to your success. And if you guys want to be part of a community, we have a free Facebook community. I'll leave you the link in the description box below. But if you guys want to be part of the Patreon page where the interaction is just at a whole different level, I'll put that link in the description box below as well. Good luck on your next event. Peace out, guys.